Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics, the Dirac Matrices, Shortcuts, and Insights. Now, the Dirac matrices have to satisfy the same anti-commutation relations as the Pauli matrices. However, there's only three Pauli matrices, sigma x, sigma y, and sigma z, and we need four matrices that have those relationships. So we use the trick of the Pauli matrices that have off-diagonal components. That's how we start out with sigma x and sigma y. So we put the first poly matrix in the upper right hand corner and the lower left hand corner zeros everywhere else and we hope this will be a generalization that will give us the same anti-commutation relations that the polys have. Here we do the same thing with the uh, second poly matrix and when we get to the third poly matrix here's the trick. See this one is diagonal but we still put this third poly matrix in the off diagonal places because we want to save our diagonal for the fourth matrix which will be using the Pauli Sigma Z trick. The Pauli Sigma Z trick is 1 and minus 1 so here we're going to have I and minus I that gives us the extra degree of freedom so we have four Dirac matrices instead of the three Pauli. So we have here an extra one and that will work and this shorthand notation is very very elegant you can multiply matrices so fast with this uh, trick of thinking of the matrices in terms of two by two chunks so if we look at uh, this uh, combination here this is a four by four matrix where the zero matrix is a zero two by two and this is a poly matrix so we're going to multiply these two together very very quickly zero two by two matrix times zero two by two plus sigma x times sigma x is zero plus sigma x squared sigma x squared is the identity zero times sigma x plus sigma x times zero is zero and remember that's a two by two matrix and then sigma x times zero plus zero times sigma x is zero and sigma x times sigma x plus zero times zero is then sigma x squared which is identity. I write this all out here. This identity here is a two by two. Zero is a two by two. Zero is a two by two. And i is a, again two by two. This is a very very powerful powerful trick and I th would recommend that you try some of these the long way and some of these with the shortcut trick to convince yourself that you can do this that this works do a few of them don't worry about a formal mathematical proof if you just get a feel for this with this kind of calculational trick that's good enough for our course a wonderful trick and a very very nice shortcut in working with the Dirac matrices and then you can verify all the anti-commutation relations very very quickly